Hello, welcome to my Facebook live stream here on Monday at 7 p.m. Uh, thank you for letting me know that you couldn't uh, you couldn't hear me. Thanks, girls. Okay, so uh, this uh, Facebook uh, Monday live stream is uh, for you uh, and uh, for my clients, for my beauty community, where I'm showing you the endless possibilities of your home uh, skincare. Uh, my name is Joanna Bojarska, and I'm a professional beauty therapist and the founder of Beauty uh, by Joanna. And if you would like to hear more about my beauty services, about uh, what I'm doing what collaborations I am doing and if you would like to collaborate with me so don't all the info you will be able to find on my website www.joannabojarska.com uh, so tonight's topic is at home skin exfoliation and um, so basically first before I start uh, I would like to tell you a few um, answer a few questions which are commonly asked so my first question the first question is what is ex exfoliation and why should we actually exfoliate well I think um, exfoliation should be everyone's part everyone's part of their skin uh, skincare routine and we should exfoliate our skin because by um, exfoliated on the uh, on the daily basis we are maintaining healthy looking skin and obviously what exfoliation is uh, basically exfoliation is the removing and dissolving uh, dead cell layers um, from the top skin layer and obviously depends on what kind of exfoliating uh, exfoliators you are using that's how often you will be actually uh, using your exfoliation uh, so for example you will be using it once a week twice a week maybe three times a week obviously it depends on what kind of exfoliation you are using and I will be talking about it in a second and then we have uh, what kind of exfoliators uh, we have on the market and um, so in generally speaking we have two groups of exfoliation so we have chemical exfoliation and then we have mechanical slash physical exfoliation and I know when I say uh, the world chemical exfoliation you straight away think about those like heavy uh, deep uh, pills at the clinic and um, which doctors are doing but this is not this by, by saying the pill uh, like chemical exfoliation I mean that we are using here products which will dissolve the top layers of the skin and chemical exfoliation can be an enzyme like fruit enzyme uh, those could again be those acids which we are using on the daily basis AHAs BHAs and um, those can be um, retinols for example so this the whole group uh, we call them chemical exfoliation and then we have mechanical exfoliating um, exfoliators and what that means that you are basically mechanically by rubbing your skin you are removing those dead cell layers and uh, those uh, when you think about those you probably think first of all about that traditional scrub with the bits inside uh, but then you can also put here dry brushing or um, for example this meats which you can buy and you can wrap your skin uh, with it as well okay so those will be those those two groups and then obviously why should we exfoliate I think we should definitely uh, obviously exfoliate in a proper way do not uh, overstrip our skins and get rid of that lipid barrier but if we are exfoliating properly and regularly and um, then we get that bright smooth even skin uh, the skin is fresh um, and obviously if you have like dark spot after sun damage dark spots uh, then those will be less visible and uh, then you are unclogging your pores by, by cleansing them then as well what you're doing uh, you are like by exfoliation you are making those fine lines and wrinkles less visible so there are loads of benefits to regular exfoliation if you do it uh, properly uh, okay and then uh, another question which I often get to ask is how often you should exfoliate well as I said, it depends on what kind of exfoliator you are using. If the, the most strong exfoliation you're doing um, on your skin, um, obviously you will be using it less. So you would be using it once a week. But if you use uh, more gentle exfoliators, uh, then obviously you would be using it more often. Okay. 
and how to dye i would like i would divided the um exfoliating products in few different groups uh, so it will be easier to uh, explain them in this way how they're working and how uh, how often you can be uh, using them uh, so first of all let's start with the cleansers because what you can get yourself it's a cleanser which will be multitasking so it will be cleansing your skin as well as it will be exfoliating it and then with the cleansers let's start for example with this Aveda cleanser which has um, jojoba bits inside and it has tourmaline as well so it will make your skin looking more bright and um, so basically what it does it's uh, it will be uh, while you are washing your face in the morning during the cleansing it will be as well uh, exfoliating uh, your skin so this is the first one and then we have another one uh, for uh, this one for example the uh, essential daily cleanser from dermaquest it has those chemical uh, uh, very light fruit enzymes which will be dissolving the first dead layers of your skin so obviously they will be uh, very gentle you can use it on your daily basis but that will have the exfoliation in it as well while you are cleansing your skin and then uh, at, at, on the beauty market we have also something like um, treatment cleansers so you would be using them to clean your skin uh, but maybe three times a week or so and those will be those more intense cleansers and here we have dermaclear cleanser from dermaquest for example and here you will have mandelic acid active um, uh, glycolic acid and uh, lactic acid and so those will be a bit more stronger and those ones will be very good for people who are tend to break out tend to um, tend to be have acne problems or uh, blemishes so that will be a great cleanser that will be a great cleanser that will be a great option as well so you can get yourself as an exfoliator the actual cleanser which you will be using every day or uh, let's say every other day and then next group would be liquid exfoliators and those exfoliators are actually my favorite group and i am using them most often and you have plenty of those i will just show you the ones which i have here on hand but obviously you can use different options as well which i will be telling you about as well so um the first one which i wanted to talk is the aveda exfoliant this is actually very gentle exfoliating liquid it has salicylic acid inside but it's been derived from nature from winter green grass and um, so it's very delicate great for people with sensitive skin uh, people who can't stand any bits on their skin with rosacea with broken capillaries people who are very getting very easy irritated or they're getting inflammation on their skin great for this kind of uh, for this kind of client I like to use it as well before my like the deep cleansing mask uh, as, a, as a form of exfoliation great choice for these people so people with rosacea with those pimples uh, with very um, inflammation infl inflammated skin they might think about like a liquid exfoliation that might be a very good option for them and then I really like actually I really like the pixie glow toner with 5% glycolic acid they have loads of them they have with vitamin c they have with rose they have with retinol as well so so yeah so those are quite good uh, but uh, recently i got myself i haven't actually used it just yet it's the sanctuary spa daily glow radiance tonic so it has a uh, glycolic acid but it also has it also has niacinamide which is very good when it comes to uh, making pores less visible and uh, balancing the sebum production and then it also has the uh, witch hazel so we will see i will try it but uh, it's a similar idea to the pixie glow one and then i actually uh, got this one pretty recently this is the ren uh, ready steady glow uh, tonic and it has the lactic acid it has azelaic acid and witch hazel and um, so willow uh, sorry willow bark extract which is like a light form of salicylic acid uh, this toner is being raved about on um, social media so i thought i would try it and this one is definitely more intense than the pixie or the exfoliant because first time when i put it on my skin i was like 
okay i can feel it working something is working here so although i have chemical pills on a regular basis so uh yeah so this is a definitely more strong than the other one so maybe not for a very sensitive skin but uh, so far so good uh, i i quite like it and then obviously as i said you have this uh, pixie glow tonic and everyone knows this um clinic clarifying lotions you know there are two camps here some people love it and some people hate it i've used it it's quite okay but i find it a little bit too drying for my skin i would prefer something with glycolic acid um, inside for my skin but obviously uh, there's plenty of options on the uh, liquid toners and uh, people some people are using them instead of their toners i like to use them after i tone my skin personally as an extra step uh, and i use it like uh, use it maybe three four times a week so yeah so those are the, this is a great option as well and then another group we have exfoliating pads so we can exfoliate with our pads as well and i have two here to show you as an example and um, those exfoliating pads are usually soaked with uh, salicylic acid so here we have nature nat natural salicylic acid and here we have regular salicylic acid and um, what i like about them i like to uh, prescribe them for to the teenagers for example uh, so people because obviously you have a pad you use one pad so you're not gonna overdose the product because you use that path and that's it yes yeah? so you won't be like pouring the liquid all over your face and what they have as well the great i would call them like a hybrid because you have you have that path soaked in the chemical exfoliation but obviously those paths they have like little ridges so when you are rubbing against the skin so you're using two methods you are sort of rubbing plus you have this chemical uh, liquid um, inside as well. Great for people with acne problem, with enlarged pores, um, with all those like pimples, blemishes. Great for this, uh, this, um, this people, if you are this one, you might think about getting yourself um, a pad like this and then it's also good when it comes to ingrown hair and i was talking about it in my live on facebook when i was talking about at home um hair removal so you want to go ahead you might want to go ahead and check out this video it's all uploaded on my youtube channel so you will find all the uh, episodes there and you can watch them there so yes uh, but you can use them in few different ways okay and then next group the mechanical one uh, is the uh, dry brushing and i show you this dry brush i'm pretty sure either on my life i'm i'm uh, yes i've shown you in like a couple of my youtube videos so what you do you can actually dry brush this uh, for your skin so you have dry brushes for your the whole body but you also has have a dry brush for your face so you basically dry brushing uh, if you are the fan of natural methods the dry brushing will be great for you and then what else is as well great here that you are actually massaging your skin as well with it as well as um, increasing the blood flow doing the actual very gentle exfoliation on your skin so this is a great option to go as well with and then uh, next group of the products would be the exfoliating masks because yes we can get ourselves an exfoliating mask as well why not so you can get yourself those uh, peel off masks i have here a travel size of crystal clear 10 minute glow so you just put it on your face and then just take it off in one piece you know what i mean those peel off masks so they will be uh, working exfoliating um as well and then we have a deep uh, clean deep cleansing clay mask which is as an example this is based on the english kaolin uh, clay and betanolin which is actually like drawing off the uh, excess sebum from uh, from your pores really good uh, product uh, to use as a cleansing mask as a detoxifying mask but also as an exfoliation 
um, great product when you apply something with like a clay, a clay based product you might feel like a little tingling on your skin to begin with but that's how it actually works uh, so um, great exfoliating option on your skin as well and then uh, my favorite product and you probably have heard if you're watching my youtube videos you probably seen this product on the, in a few uh, different um, videos is that mini pumpkin mask from dermaquest this is um i would put it i will put it in two categories because you can put it in both but first as a mask and um, what you do you apply this product on your skin you leave it for three up to five minutes rinse it off and that's it beautiful product it what it has inside it has obviously pine uh, uh, pumpkin extract but it also has lactic acid mandelic acid so it will be great uh, for getting all those dead cell layers off from your skin skin after this mask it's really smooth it really um like uh, the texture is very even and the like little spots are being like uh, less visible great mask as an all-rounder mask for exfoliation yes great mask but not for a very sensitive skin so i wouldn't recommend it for people with rosacea or a very a very like highly sensitive skin but other than that great product as well okay and next group of exfoliants which we can use at home uh, is the actual serum i was mentioning about retinol at the beginning and obviously retinol it's a gold uh, serum now these days everyone is using retinol or retinoids uh, retinol adehid uh, or things like this different different forms of vitamin a and uh, what retinol does not only it works uh, as an anti-aging beautiful um, active ingredient but it also kills the acne causing bacteria uh, so it works in like a, from double ways and um, that's why uh, most of people they love it uh, but with retinol I would start with I would start with small doses and then build it up because then your skin might be irritated and a little bit flaky so this serum uh, this is my my personal favorite serum this is the retexture serum from dermaquest so this is a combo of retinol and glycolic acid so you have those both ingredients combined together here great um, as an anti-aging exfoliating serum and things like this although i'm using it every like three three weeks three days a week uh, other four nights i will be because retinols i'm using only at night night time and probably most of the retinols products which are out on the market you're using mainly in the night time rather than in the morning and obviously i'm in between i'm using it for three nights a week and then another four nights i will be using the some facial oil on my face yep so that will be this one for the, the uh, retinol and uh, then obviously if you are a bit more on the budget bielenda has one as well and um, this is the uh, three percent brightening serum uh, with vitamin c so you will have that retinol anti-aging and uh, cleansing uh, purposes to it and then you will have vitamin c which will give you the brightness uh, to the skin as well uh, good ingredients good to try as an in, in the evening um, treatment and then if you want to go one step further um, and for example you are suffering from dark spots on your skin yes um, dermaquest does a very good serum which is a retinol brightening serum and uh, so here you will have uh, apart from retinol you will have those brightening ingredients like bak choy. you will also have stem cells here uh, so very packed highly packed ingredients so retinol will cleanse that skin dissolve those dead cell layers so sort of they are packed quite tight so it will dissolve it a little bit yes yeah? so they will coming a bit more loose and then you're getting those brightening ingredients into your skin so great combo as well and then uh, so those are my uh, uh, my serums the uh, exfoliating serums but obviously you can splurge it a little bit more and you can go for uh, uh, there is loads of them like uh, obviously uh, like, uh, Kate Somerville, Paul Paula's Choice, uh, then what, Sunday Riley, Good Jeans, yes, loads of different brands, Drunk Elephant as well, so they will be sort of same um, price mark as, a, the, as the serums which I was just showing you, uh, but then as well what I wanted to tell you, like if you want to splurge a little bit more than Barbara Strum, 
strum, strum, uh, strum, let's say, or clay de pot. Uh, they have amazing products, but obviously um, they are a little bit more on the pricey side. But if you can uh, splurge on a good exfoliating serum, uh, that is the way uh, where I would go. Um, maybe one day I could, I will be able to afford it. Not, not these days, but uh, yes, obviously if you can, I would definitely recommend those brands. Um, okay, and now as the last uh, group of the products is. Uh, the actual scrubs or peels because that's what you were actually probably thinking when I was telling you that we will be talking about at home exfoliation and uh, those peels as well uh, we have different ones and we have ones with the beads inside and we have ones with the like the chemical product uh, active ingredients inside which is dissolving your skin layers so uh, that sells sorry so obviously we will let's start with the enzyme peel this is by far my favorite uh, favorite kind of the pill which you can use at home. Uh, this is the example, the luxury enzyme pill uh, from uh, Clarona. And um, what it, it actually, that one has the willow extract and papaya and uh, pineapple, like usually pineapple papaya extracts are quite popular in those enzyme pills. So what they do, they will be dissolving the first dead cell layers. They will be sort of eating them like Pac-Man and revealing this bright and smooth skin from underneath. Um, so they are great and you don't have any and any like harsh beads in them. You just put this paste on your skin or like a light, uh, light lotion, depends on the brand. They have different consistency. And then obviously you put it on your skin. You wet your fingers a little bit, massage it. So you are activating the enzymes with water and then obviously leave it for like five seven minutes you rinse it off and that's it enzyme peel is done your skin is ready uh, for next steps like serums or moisturizers and i'm telling you if you put the serum uh, or a moisturizer after the kind of any kind of exfoliation you will see a massive difference because that serum will actually have a chance to penetrate deeper into your skin and work on its full capacity Okay, so that will be the enzyme pill. And then we have two examples of pills with little bits inside. So this algae polishing scrub, this is a very popular product at my beauty studio. Lots of my clients are getting it because of this for the smell. Smell, it's amazing. It's been amazingly fra fragranced, not overwhelming, but really nice. And uh, what it does, it's basically, um, uh, it smells of tropical fruit. So you are like, um, you know, you are on the beach zipping, uh, sipping on the uh, cocktail. So that's how you would feel when you have this feel on your face. So amazing smell. And then um, obviously it has algae extract inside, but the actual beads are quite spherical. So they will be jojoba esters and what they do they will gently exfoliate your skin but it has as well lactic acid inside uh, as well as obviously this algae then it has hyaluronic acid inside so it will be quite nice and hydrating uh, for your skin while exfoliating your skin so this is a very nice a gentle form of exfol like mechanical exfoliation if you are the person who likes the bits inside their exfoliators and then last but not least and i left it as the last one because this is the strongest one which i'm actually having at my beauty studio uh, for sale for my clients and this is the botanical kinetics radiant skin refiner and this is a very specific product because you can use it in a few different ways and um, it uh, the scrubbing bits inside are coming from the bamboo and uh, obviously it also it's it has clay inside and it has tourmaline and Tourmaline is well known for ma making your skin very bright and like gives you that glow and um, brightening effect to your skin. Uh, so what you can do with this, you can normally apply it on your fingers, then add a couple of drops of oil and massage it in as a normal uh, exfoliation. Or you can apply a very thin layer of this product, like a very thin layer, wait for it to dry and then sort of like rub it off from my, uh, from the skin. Yes. So that's what you would be using, like rubbing it off. So you're doing sort of like a gommage uh, sort of peel um, for yourself great product but as i said definitely not for sensitive skin definitely not for people with broken capillaries or broken veins and uh, it's more for like um 
thicker skin layer, um, people with dull skin, which needs loads of brightening, like people who really need like pick me up time and they want to see the difference after this and uh, after the peel that's uh, after the scrub that will be a great option for them okay so that will be what i have today to show you but there is another group of products those at home acid based treatments yes and you have loads of them uh, you can get yourself the ones from the ordinary let's say if you are on the budget the ordinary has quite a few good products now that it's been owned by l'oreal so they had to change some formulas a little bit but now uh, but in general the ordinary is has quite a good uh, products but what i wanted to say is that uh, my by far favorite favorite at home acid based treatment if you want to get yourself one is dr dennis gross i mean he's uh, little packs you have two parts there yes they are combined together You're using first part first this is your acid weight and then you are swiping with another part this is uh, stopping the acid and then getting the actives in your skin beautiful product i would definitely go for this one they, they, he has few different options he has like super gentle then super strong i was using super strong because obviously i am used to uh, exfoliating like chemical exfoliations mm, great products very thoughtful formula is amazing and obviously he's he's known uh, uh, like he's been called the king of acids so uh, so he had to have it right obviously but beautiful products although we have those beautiful products to use at home at, at the at the um, uh, behind the counter and we still go on ebay and buying those strong harsh treatments which should be used only at the professional beauty studio. I mean, I am getting very crossed when I hear people using those kind of exfoliating treatments at home themselves. And I know what when it's when it where it's coming from. I I mean, I think I know. It's because they're being mis misleaded by the simplicity of this treatment because the treatment like a chemical peel let's say it's very easy as as a treatment yeah, it's very straightforward you do like step one step two step three yeah and you just follow the instructions fine and i would agree with it but what is actually happening in your skin when you're doing this chemical peel this is totally different story and that's why as beauty therapists we have to have our schools all the uh, trainings uh, all the knowledge to back us up and believe me we have to do quite a lot in order to do chemical pills at our beauty studios and then you have this person doing this chemical peel themselves at home and i had ladies believe me i have a ladies who were doing tca at home frost peel which is basically the same thing then i had one lady who was doing cosmelan which she bought by herself herself at on ebay so yes pretty scary if there are any beauty therapists watching me now they know what i mean uh, by doing tca themselves at home or cosmelan treatment themselves at home very deep very strong treatments and when you do those those uh, treatments which i was showing you today and um, this is when you're working on your epidermis layer so it's fine even if you would go a little bit too much and you would over strip a little bit that lipid barrier it's let's say relatively easy to rebuild but when you go with chemical peel and you will do yourself a chemical peel without let's say let's be honest not many of us would prep our skin for two three weeks before properly and then use a proper treatment after so you would do that chemical peel you will go straight away with tca let's say and okay you were peeling you have your downtime then you recover everything seems to be fine your skin is nice it's smooth you don't really know what happens there inside because the chemical peels are actually going into your dermis layer of your skin and now you might be fine but let's wait few years maybe you might see you might be uh, 
shocked what is happening with your skin with dark spots coming from nowhere or with like this funny wrinkles in the, like in the very um very weird places so that's what can happen a few years after you actually done this chemical peel so those are really really strong and i would highly highly recommend you not do not recommend you to use them do not do those strong chemical peels leave them for the professionals and really if you use these products at home which i was showing you any of those products they will give you beautiful effects and you are safe you're not gonna be suffering later and what happens if you would let's say go a little bit too much so i don't know you would be using this toner which i was showing you every single evening and then um you would be all like you would probably overstrip your lipid barrier so how how would you know that you overstripped your lip, lipid barrier well basically you start your skin starts to um itch and uh, it starts to be really like uh, inflammated like irritated whatever you use on it it will be irritated that means that you probably stripped it off a little bit too much so you have to uh, go back and then maybe um, think again about like rebuilding that lipid barrier and maybe uh, adding some uh, like a very like nourishing and rejuvenating rejuvenating uh, products and then maybe slowly start introducing back those exfoliating um, treatments okay guys so that will be everything when it comes to exfoliation at home i hope that i give you an idea of what you can use at home uh, and as usual if you need any help with choosing the right product for yourself uh, which you can use at home in order to exfoliate your skin then you can always uh, dm me send me a message or we can book an online consultation and we can go through them through all the products and I will help you to choose the best uh, for you and then one more thing as we know the prime minister done the speech last night about um, us being able to reopen and things like this and I know some of us they had uh, high hopes that we will be open very soon uh, but uh, well according to the documents which they been which has been released um, is that the earliest date when we will be, be we will be able to reopen as hairdressers or beauty studios it's 4th of july if everything will be improving so fingers crossed uh, that we will be improving and everything will be going in the right direction and we will be able to go back to work on the 4th of july I really miss my work although I really enjoy my live streams and online consultations and things it's not the main uh, thing what I do on the daily basis so I am hoping to, I will be able to back to work to be back to work as soon as I can and treat you guys and see you guys again and uh, and have chats with you and everything so I hope uh, I hope I will be back to work on the 4th of July but obviously as soon as I know anything as soon as I have some up any updates I will be posting everything on my social media I will be also texting you um, directly uh, so you will know uh, you will have all the information so don't worry I will I will I will try to announce it everywhere so you are not being missed um, okay guys I hope you will do your exfoliation at home and uh, let me know what you think about it did you if you like it and obviously any topic ideas you have please leave them in the comment section or you can also send me a text if there is anything what you would like me to talk about and next week i might have a little surprise for you next surprise i know I know but why not if I can surprise you if I can keep you entertained and a little bit distracted from uh, from all of it what's happening um, now um, why not so I am uh, I am preparing next surprise for you but as usual I am revealing all the topics uh, on Sunday in my on my insta stories um, so I will tell you a little bit more there and now 
thank you very much for watching thank you very much for joining me i hope you enjoy this little lives uh, and i thank you very much for finding them worth watching um, and i am here for you as usual just remember if you need anything from the beauty world just text me and and we can have a chat uh, thank you very much now enjoy your evening and i will uh, talk to you either tomorrow on instagram where i do q a session or next week, uh, Monday, Facebook, 7 p.m. Okay, bye. Thank you.